I'm a little more put together now. Dobby here is still passed out. Before we get on with the video, big thank you to Crocs for sponsoring today's video. And I'm gonna show you guys my little Crocs collection in a bit. But for today's video, I like had this idea yesterday. I'm just kind of like in the mood to host. Like host a dinner. I may have hosted like one dinner when I first moved into this apartment and haven't done one ever since. So I was like, maybe I could just host a dinner for you guys through my vlog. I'm gonna cook, we're gonna sit down, chit chat, talk about life, pour our hearts out, and I think it'll be kind of cute. I don't know. I'm actually gonna head out right now and pick up some like little cute tabletop decor stuff to just kind of, you know, make the atmosphere very cozy and cute and intimate. So yeah. So you guys are invited to my little dinner party. Let's head on over. <laughs> Hello, Dobby. Here are my Crocs. I went a little crazy. I have been seeing so many people rock Crocs on the streets. I've seen really cool collabs with different artists. And I'm just so happy that I have my little own Crocs collection. So these ones are my favorite. They're the classic clog. They're a little bit more special because it has like this fuzzy lining in them. And I had no idea Crocs came out with these. They also have these really cute gibbets that you can put on your Crocs just to make it a little bit more personal and cute. How cute are these? We have the classic clogs, classic sandals, and classic slides. If you're feeling a little sporty, you can pull down the back like this. These are perfect when I am running around the city, running errands, or I'm walking Dobby. They are so, so comfortable. You can ask anyone who owns a pair of Crocs and they will tell you how comfortable they are. So yeah, if you guys want to check out any of the products or the cute gibbets, you can go to the closest Croc store near you or online at crocs.com. Well, hello there. Put on a little dress. So let's begin. This so does not fit the menu, but we're rolling with this. This is Korean glass noodles with vegetables. This one is also a vegetable dish. It's called busam. It's like radish with a bunch of like vegetables. This is chumokbap with anchovies and dried seaweed. And this is sujebi, which is like potato soup with vegetables and like little pieces of flour. And yeah, pear juice. We got the candles, the flowers, and cheers. This kind of has a little kick to it. Mm -mm -mm. 
obviously because I'm literally talking to a camera eating two, three servings worth of food. I had to ask on Instagram for you guys to leave me questions or topic suggestions. So the first question I should start off with, how's life? Like what's on your mind? Is there anything you're worried about? I actually really appreciate these questions. I have no complaints. I have so many things to be grateful for, but when the cameras are off, I'm actually like super, super nervous about everything. I'm very fear driven, which is like so exhausting and I hate thinking the way I do. I think one of the biggest fears that I have with like at least my career is I always feel like my channel is one day gonna disappear or you guys are gonna stop watching me. Like I know it sounds really stupid, but I've been like this since I started making videos and yeah, it's it's very I don't I don't like it. <laughs> I kind of want to do like live streaming, but I also have this thing where I'm very afraid of talking to a large group of people. <sighs> why am I afraid of so many things? That's why I never do IG lives anymore because there's too many people that tune in. So I don't know, I'm thinking of maybe starting like a new IG account where I can just have like these lives with a smaller group of people. I don't know. Next question, how do you plan on spending the rest of 2021? That's a really nice question. Isn't it crazy how fast this year went? I have like, what, three months left in this year? Oh my God. Actually, the next few months are gonna be very exciting. This past year, I've actually been working a lot on Little Puffy. And this time, I was able to be very hands-on with the entire process of designing the clothes itself, picking out the colors, fitting it, getting it manufactured. Obviously, we're like we're going to keep our like main like merch stuff, but I thought it would be fun to kind of challenge myself in doing something more special. So I'm really excited about that and I feel like I already said too much because I wanted to like be a little bit of a surprise. It's going to be launching sometime in November. And also, we still have like the current little puffy merch and once those are gone, they're gone forever. So, if you still want to snag one, I'll leave the link in the description where you guys can go get one. Do you prefer to be alone or be with friends? <gasps> I like to be with close friends at home. If I could have friends come over right now and like do this together, that would be the ideal situation. So I am back continuing on with this chat the next day. Wow, it's like raining really hard outside. It's like a perfect mood right now. <laughs> I felt like I was avoiding the main reason why I wanted to have this intimate chat in the first place. I've gotten a lot of comments, emails, and DMs asking how I am post breakup or tips on how to deal with a heartbreak. I was actually very nervous to talk about this but I feel like I'm in a good and happy place. So I kind of want to catch you guys up on where I'm at. And I know some of you guys will say like, don't worry, like you don't have to tell us anything or anything private. And I'm more than happy to talk about it. And of course I will talk about it in the capacity that I feel comfortable in. Um, mm. I do treat my vlogs like a diary and you guys are always very accepting of me. So I do feel really comfortable talking about, you know, very vulnerable parts of my life. Basically a few months back, I had mentioned in a video that I was no longer in a relationship. And looking back at it now, I was clearly not mentally stable. I just, had just gotten out of a relationship. And I think my reasoning for mentioning it in a video so quickly was really to kind of solidify the breakup and help me move on faster. And I honestly don't regret any of it. Some people will ask me and like personally, do you regret talking about it in a video? And like, no, not really. So yeah, how did I cope with it? I actually started therapy very soon after the breakup. I knew I needed the help and guidance of kind of going through all the thoughts and emotions. And also a big part of it was because I felt like the relationship that I had was just too good to throw away. And 
I think I became like a way better person way more confident through that relationship so i wanted professional advice and guidance on how to go about mending a broken relationship and through it all with healthy and guided communication we decided to give it one last shot and i'm so glad that we did literally went down through every single problem and addressed everything and now our relationship has been the best it's ever been and i really truly feel like if it weren't for the breakup and that reality check, I don't think we would be at the place that we are right now. That's kind of what I wanted to say and I really wanted to get this off my chest but I was actually so, so nervous about bringing this up because of all the judgment and whatnot, like, oh my god, you're one of those, like... <laughs> um, but I just felt like this relationship was really good for me and so healthy, like the healthiest relationship I've ever been in. I'm sharing this part of my life one, just to kind of like catch you guys up to speed on like where I am actually in life and to possibly help anyone kind of going through a difficult time in their own relationships. Heartbreaks suck, like it actually physically hurts. And if talking about this could help anyone, um, that's all that really matters to me. Yeah, whether you are trying to mend a broken relationship or you are trying to move on from it. I hope this helps somehow, I don't know, but um, yeah.